Today, reverse day, a new HUD VA addendum, and how it will affect you. A lawyer in a fedora. Shut up and sit down. Hi, Troy Garris, partner of Wienerbrowski Kiter and chair of TMBA's Red Compliance Committee. We're starting this vlog today to keep you updated on latest information on regulatory developments, TMBA activities, and litigation and enforcement. Today we're going to talk about a brand new HUD VA addendum, but first a little bit about the TMBA. Now, September brings the TMBA's reverse mortgage day. This year, reverse day is at the Omni Hotel in Dallas, September 6th and 7th. Everyone's going to be there. For 15 years, TMBA has been bringing professionals in the industry together for one day, one event, reverse mortgage all day. Before you jet off for summer, make sure you register, sign up today. It's cheap, it's timely, and you'll find no better reverse mortgage gathering in the country. I'll be there. Will you? Compliance officers and loan officers, the HUD VA addendum is changing. Effective August 1st, 2016, there's a new form from HUD. No problem, right? LOS spits it out. You sign. What could possibly go wrong? Lots, let me tell you. Any defect in documentation in the loan? False certification. Any charge made or even paid that's not specifically authorized by HUD? False certification. Any alleged kickback? Could that even include MSAs? If so, possible false certification. Wait, did you know you're making certifications to the federal government on every loan you do? So what happens if a certification you make turns out to be false, or at least allegedly false? Well, false claim act case maybe? DOJ brought millions of dollars in false claims act cases just last year. A PIFCRA action, Program Fraud Civil Remedies Act, case by HUD, very similar to the False Claims Act, trouble damages, one of the primary avenues that HUD likes to assert in recent times. What about an MRB case? The Mortgagee Review Board at HUD might try to pull your approval, might try to impose civil money penalties, maybe a debarment case, lots of other things can happen to you. The short answer is, if you do FHA or VA loans, be very, very careful. Document everything very well and don't get on HUD's bad side. You don't want to be next on DOJ's or HUD's list. My firm handles lots of these cases. They're always expensive. They're always an uphill battle. And that's when you have good arguments. So stay sharp, stay focused, and stay out of trouble. Like this video, subscribe, and if you have any questions, either comment below or email me at garris at the I'm Troy Garris, and that's the law.